No way. I'm gonna play it. Please. Hello everyone, I hope you are having a great day. In today's video we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring bosses in Ewen Plus with the Stormhawk Axe, probably the most underrated weapon of the entire game. It has such a cool design, a solid moveset and is very easy to use. This crazy axe scales only with strength and dexterity and it deals physical standard damage. Thunderstorm is the unique skill of the Stormhawk Axe. When using this ability we will buff the blade with lightning and swing it around creating a destructive lightning storm. The best feature of this skill is that it can be follow up twice which makes it really easy to use and very powerful as as well. Also, the lightning buff will stay on the weapon for a few seconds. You can obtain two of these axes so fast on a new game. All it takes is to talk a little bit with Nefili Lu and she will drop them for you as a reward for your kindness. To get the max performance from this axe, we are going to level up strength and dexterity to 80. If we want to use the skill of this weapon completely, we will need a decent level of endurance as well. In order to cast Golden Bow and Hallow Shabriri, we are going to level up Fate to 33. And as I have to complete each fight without getting hit a single time, I didn't level up Vigor. To me, investing points on these stats is pointless because of that reason. But I'm pretty sure you want to see a huge HP bar at the top left of your screen. That's why I created an alternative version of this build that is very strong as well, but a lot safer. We need to upgrade our Stormhawk Axe at plus 10 and equip any skill we have available to cast our main buffs. If you want, you can use the Commander's Standard as the Aura buff in quick fights. It's a little bit stronger than Golden Bow, but it doesn't last as long as this one, so it's up to you guys. You can use any armor set you want, but for the drips, I am using the Gold Mask Rags, the Old Sorcerer's Leg Wraps, and the Queen's Bracelets. I feel like this combo has some Brave Warrior energy that goes very well with the weapon style. Once again, and because of the consecutive attacks of the Thunderstorm skill, the Rolling Winds or Insignia, the Millicent's Prosthesis, the Shard of Alexander and the Red Feathered Branch Sword are going to be our best talisman combo. Remember that the Ritual Sword talisman is better for you if you are going to play with high vigor. The Lightning Scorpion Charm does a very good job too if you are missing one of these talismans. In the Flask of Bondros Physique, we will mix the Lightning Shrouding Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. This one stacks with the Rolling Winds or Insignia and the Millicent's Prosthesis significantly increasing our damage when dealing multiple success attacks, taking the performance of the build to the next level. Further, the Stonebark Crack Tear is also a very good option to fight the strong enemies like the Dragon Lord Placidus Axe or the Elden Beast. It helps to have a little bit of control over the fight, increasing your stance damage. This weapon doesn't consume a lot of stamina, but the Pickle Turtlenecks are really good optional items that you can easily craft to boost your stamina regeneration speed. This item is very underrated, although it's actually quite useful. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fights? Let's go! <laughs> he ran away, but he didn't do it that uh, that far, you know. Nice, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's crazy! What an insane damage this weapon does, bro. Wow! Okay, buddy. Be a good dog. No way. You are everything but a good dog, man. And you get what you deserve, bro. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, he's not a good dog. He's doing phalanx and stuff, dude. I don't like that shit. Well, I told you. I will recast this. That's fine. I need to be careful with any book flying. Nice. Okay, yeah, let's go. No, wait. Oh my god. Nice. In my head, it was better, but yeah. <laughs> it works. B 
beautiful, guys. Now I, I found the right position. That's good. <laughs> guys, this weapon is so beautiful. This is, <laughs> I am discovering some crazy weapons, bro. <laughs> I love these weapons, bro. <laughs> oh my god, this damage is just insane, man. I don't know. <laughs> and I am not even using all the possible buffs that we can use. <laughs> Let's go, baby. In seconds. <laughs> I don't know if it's better in, than the Leonora's Paul Blade. I actually love it, that one, but this one is so powerful and it has a cool design as well. Obviously, it's a different style of gameplay. This one is more like uh, intense in terms of uh, strength like weapons. And the Eleonora's Paul Blade is so fancy and it has this anime vibe that everyone loves, right? But yeah, it's up to you guys. But this weapon is very beautiful as well. Hey, homie, show me that spear. No, you won't show me nothing, right? Nice. Okay. Take this one. Please. Nice try, homie. But I go, I go. <laughs> it can be done better, but I, I didn't imagine that he was about to do that that attack. If if I knew, I would just spam that the Ash of Wars from the start of the second phase. But the guy was doing some weird stuff before, so I just wanted to destroy him. Nice dodge. Back to for me. He's tough against this weapon, man. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Nice. No way. Don't say things to the water! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> We did it, boys! Insane! That was fantastic, man! <laughs> that was beautiful, guys! Let's go! <laughs> oh, this guy didn't even... Didn't even react, bro. Yeah, this guy is a little bit smarter. Nah. Not that smarter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. What? Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I'm a storm right now. Oh, that's that's beautiful. This is very nice, guys. All right, another stamina. No, no, don't do this to me. Die. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You are down, boy. Wow, we dealt a lot of damage at the beginning, bro. <laughs> what happened, bro? The damage.
damage. I thought I was dead. Why am I? Why I wasn't dead, bro? I, I didn't. I didn't understand why I. I didn't die there. This is cool. Oh, let's go! <laughs> I love to see that, guys. You know it, right? <laughs> guys, as you can see, the damage is very stupidly high, man. I mean, Moh is a, it's a very tough enemy, and we are just taking him out like it's nothing. Okay. I hope that won't hit me. Oh, my God. No, I'm scared, guys. That's crazy. This is very nice. Nice. Oh my god, the damage, guys. <laughs> I was in a bad position, but it worked. Oh, they are very close now. Yeah, yeah, this is more than enough. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, I was trying to do the Hall of Shabri. Okay. Yeah, I will do one. And then I will do... I will do the full combo. Nice! 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 <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> it worked, guys! <laughs> Beautiful! Well, it's the same, guys. Doesn't matter. Come on. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go. <laughs> he was about to run, bro. It's over for the dragon, guys. Dang it, bro. I wanted to do it before the second phase, but it's very complicated. No, dude. Why are you doing that? Oh, the damage, bro. <laughs> That's a good damage right now. Yeah, it will be fantastic if the damage will actually connect the target, you know? <laughs> nice. Wow, bro! <laughs> I love this weapon, man! This is crazy, why no one talks about it? <laughs> please, no struggles, please, no struggles. Nice, zero struggles. 
<laughs> oh, you don't have a chance against this beautiful weapon. This underrated weapon. That was close. What a beautiful weapon, bro! <laughs> In seconds, baby! Oh my god! It has a sick design as well, man! Look at this! And that's it with the Elden Beast, guys. This weapon is absolutely amazing, guys. It's one of the best weapons I have ever tried. It's actually very powerful. I didn't imagine how a weapon can be that powerful. Okay, let's go for that one. What are you doing, buddy? I'm also patient. Oh, you asked for that. One be one, boy. As it should be. Maybe two? Yeah, two, definitely. And there we go. Beautiful! <laughs> Did you like that, bro? Oh my god, you're dirty. Another one? I will dodge that. Of course. Another one. Nice, perfect. And I will deal a oh, heavy attack. So he will go into the second phase and I'll get it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, because if I started to use the skill uh, as soon as I break the stance of my Le of Loretta, she will go she will jump back and I will don't I won't be able to hit him. To hit her, I mean. Yeah, it was a decent fight. It wasn't that great, but I'll take it. I thought you were about to do the... No, 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 what are you doing? Don't even dare.
I'm gonna play it. Please. Let's go! <laughs> Guys, that's it! A very good one. Just destroyed, baby. Amazing. Very, very amazing. Let's go. I'm, what a beautiful weapon. And we have successfully completed this challenge as well, guys. This is amazing. These two days have been so good to me. I played with Eleonora's Paul Blade and I fell in love instantly with it. And now this amazing weapon that I didn't even know, bro. It's so powerful. The funny part is that this weapon is the one that the NPC leaves uh, in, in the round table hall. And yeah, to me it was like, yeah, if it's that easy to get, it's a... Uh, uh, a crap weapon you know but dude i i gave it a chance and wow this is one of the best weapons i have ever tried in the game no no cap dude i have tried a lot of, of weapons but every time i test a new one i saw if it's that good or if, it, or if it's not that good for example the win of astel is a very overrated weapon it deals a decent stance damage but it's very hard to use and it's not that effective and in the other hand the dragon king's crack blade is actually one of the best weapons to deal stance damage and it's way easier to use maybe you will see a lot of videos where people tell you which one is the best weapon but you won't realize which one is an actual good weapon until you try it so create this build by yourself and let me know if you enjoy it as much as i did another important thing to mention is that the skill of this weapon is one of those few skills that has two follow-ups available you can use only one input two inputs or three inputs and deal the max damage of this weapon so it's very easy to use as well i think you should give a try to this fantastic weapon let me know in the comment section which other weapon you would like to see in the channel i really love to see your comments and your opinions on, on the build on, on, on me i know i am very very loud sometimes but i'm having fun dude i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel that way you will support me a lot guys a lot have a great day guys my name is carlos and i'll see you in the next one.